Tensions in Sri Lanka remained on a knife edge. Sri Lanka is in a state of emergency after protesters breached the Prime Minister's offices and took over the state television broadcaster on Wednesday amid mounting anger over Rajapaksa's failure to resign. The Sri Lanka president, Gotabaya Rajapaksa, was headed to Singapore on Thursday with his final destination reported to be Saudi Arabia as the beleaguered leader continued his pursuit of a safe haven while still refusing to officially resign. Raja Paksa, who has been president since November 2019, is held responsible for driving Sri Lanka into its worst economic crisis since independence in 1948, which has led to severe shortages of fuel, food and medicines. Along with several members of his politically powerful family who held political posts, the Rajapaksas are accused of economic mismanagement and widespread corruption. Tensions in the country remained on a knife edge, with a curfew imposed in the commercial capital of Colombo on Thursday. Rajapaksa, who remains immune from prosecution while he is still president, has promised to resign, but his absence has left the country in political limbo. Late into the night, some factions of protesters gathered outside parliament and tried to force their way inside, but were hit by tear gas and the attempted takeover of the building was criticized by some groups. More than 40 people were injured in the clashes between protesters and police on Wednesday and a 26-year-old protester who was hospitalized after being tear-gassed died of breathing difficulties. The UN Secretary-General, Antonio Guterres, urged Sri Lanka leaders to oversee a peaceful transition of power. He said, I continue to follow the situation in Sri Lanka very closely. It's important that the root causes of the conflict and protesters' grievances are addressed. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. See you in the next videos.